with every appointment, you want to have uh, have the patient rinse before we start. So if you don't mind just rinsing in, inside that rubber. Just going to put some more water here in case you need it. Um, then make sure that you rinse the bite block very thoroughly from the um, from the biotex. Otherwise, the patient will have a pretty sour taste in their mouth. And this is when you start to realize the importance of a stable base plate. Because if you don't have a stable base plate based on your final impression and you don't have adequate suction at this point, it makes this part of the job very difficult. So we're going to take a quick look before we start, make sure everything looks the same. No changes to his oral condition. And once again, when you're working with the upper, you can lower the chair just a little bit, and then you can retract the cheek, and I'm approaching the patient from somewhat 11 o'clock position. And then we're gonna rotate that in. And as you're depressing the base plate, you can hear a bit of a squishing sound as the saliva is being displaced. And that's actually a good sound because it's an indication of the intimate contact between what you've done and the tissue itself. Is that hurting you at all, Robert? Nope. Okay, good. So we're gonna check the stability first. So we're gonna try to rock this from left to right. That looks pretty good. His whole head is moving, so that's a good indication. And I'm gonna try and dislodge it here. That's not coming out. So this is good. So, and as good as this is today, Robert, by the time we finish the denture in acrylic, mm -hmm. it's gonna be even better because I had to relieve some of the underside of the bite block. Mm -hmm in order not to prevent from damaging the model. So as good as it is today, yeah. I think it will get better. Definitely a whole lot better than what you used to, right? Yeah. How's the extension in the back of your mouth? Because you mentioned that was a, a little, little bit- long. A little long? Yeah. Okay. We can always cut long things. Mm -hmm. Just making them longer, that's impossible. So let, let's see how we manage through today. Okay. And if that's the case for the final um, product, we can always cut it back. Okay. And we'll talk about how we uh, prepare the posterior palatal seal in order to accommodate uh, the patient's um, the patient's uh, request. Okay, so let's see here. What we're looking for here. Get you to relax for me. Good. Open slightly. Typically for males, we want the bite block just to be at the edge of the lip. Right there. That's where it is, and I think that's pretty good. But before we make any adjustments in terms of the length, we want to make sure that we have a nice full appearance here. Robert and I think here might be a little bit too full so I might have to cut this back a little bit because I see him a little bit puffy okay get you to open a little bit I'm gonna part the lips and now I'm gonna check for things being parallel okay very difficult to visualize if things are parallel so what we're going to utilize is this device here you might have seen it by now but if you have, we haven't talked about it yet, this is called a Fox plane, designed by Dr. Frank Fox. And basically, we want to insert it in here, hold it firmly right up against the bite block, and we want to make sure that this part of the Fox plane is parallel to the imaginary line at the inferior border of the ala to the tragus, to the middle of the tragus here, okay? I'm not sure if it is on that side, Tyler gives me a nod that it is. I see it that it is on this side, but if we come from the front and look at the Fox plane from a left to right view, if we can visualize now the Fox plane being parallel to the interpupil, an imaginary line between the pupils, I think it's a little bit off because it should be somewhere there. So I need to increase the vertical a little bit more on the patient's left side. Okay, so the way I've, I've started out with this bite block, again, it's an estimated length and width where we're gonna start. I'm trying to get it out, so that's good. So I need to build it up here a little bit. So we're gonna take a little time to build this up with some wax. I'm gonna recontour it to have a nice flat surface and then we'll check again with a fox plane.